so once we have understood the basics of uh, puppet server we have understood the dsl language and we have done a couple of examples here now it's a time to implement up the puppet in the real client server architecture so here i will be using two machines this machine p server will be my server and the next machine will be acting as my puppet agent or the remote machine which i intend to manage with a lighter background so, be, so let's start from the puppet server before we can uh, start on to starting the service and the ca's and the certificates we need to understand some basic things where are the puppet server config files because that is more important the puppet server main configuration file these things are required when you are implementing the puppet in the actual client server architecture or the man if you are using the puppet just to write the code the manifest that that we were doing from the last 3 days then it's not required but now it's a time to shift the gears and configure the puppet in a proper manner so the puppet server main configuration file is hc puppet lab puppet puppet.com let me show this this is the main configuration file for puppet server hc puppet labs puppet and puppet.com this is the main configuration file so puppet will honor this file or we read this file for most of the things so if i open this file or if, if i do a cat here i'll just show it to you this is the main config file this is the main config file couple of things are already written there we will be editing this but this is the main config file that puppet reads but for some task like configuring the web server or having an external ca it has separate config files and settings so puppet server configuration files and setting except except for the logs are stored under a folder which is at c puppet lab puppet server and conf.d this is the directory and these are the files auth.com global.com puppet server.com web server web roots and uh, one interesting thing is that all these files are in we call it hocon h o c o n format hocon format if i uh, show you any of the file say so if i uh, do a cat of global.com okay or if i do say puppet server.com or auth.com any file you will find a different format here see so this format is the hocon format which stands for human h o c o n which stands for human optimized config object notation so nothing uh, like rocket science here it's merely a better way than the json format so it's more human readable we don't need to go into the hocon format but we need to know that these files are stored in the hocon form hocon format which is human optimized config object notation so whenever puppet starts remember this whenever puppet starts puppet will go in this folder and read these files all these files having an extension of conf will be read so in case you do any changes in any of these files make sure you restart the puppet server service and the logs where the puppet logs go so logs are controlled by a different file which is hc hc puppet labs puppet server and there's a xml file there log back dot xml this is the file which control your logs let me show this if i do a cat here i'm just you need to know this you you might not require to add it all these files but you should be knowing this so the see here this is the file and the standard output see there the file this is the main location var log puppet labs puppet server puppet server dot log so this is the default file rest of the files will be stored in this folder var log puppet lab puppet server puppet server hyphen timestamp dot log dot gz so let me see if couple of files are already there or not maximum file size is 200 mb 
history is for 90 days maximum size is 1 GB and there are a lot of things like root level info that means by default the basic uh, info level will be uh, like recorded you can change it to debug or warning these things so if I go here let me see if I go here and check this I go to var log puppet labs and see here puppet server and these are the files puppet server hyphen timestamp log dot gz these are the files access dot log master dot http log puppet server dot log you will find all the logs here so being a admin you should be knowing where the logs are going right this way that's great. So we had understood ab about the log and the HTTP traffic. The HTTP traffic will be going under var log puppet labs. Okay, let me show this. It's going under var log puppet labs, puppet server, and puppet server hyphen access dot log. This is the location where the HTTP logs will be going. So once we have understood the basic of the logs, let's and the files where the main config files let's configure the puppet server and the agent so we know that all the config uh, like uh, the communication between the puppet server and the puppet agent is based on ssl certificates so there are two things that we need to do in the master file i just need to specify the name of my machine so the name of my machine is pserver.example.com so what i need to do at c puppet puppet and then puppet.com open this file and in the master block anywhere in the master block write cert name and the name of your machine pserver.example.com that is the minimal you need to do save and restart the puppet server so I have mentioned I have told my puppet server that what will be the name of your certificate so by default because I am not using any external CA so my puppet server will be acting as a CA so the same machine name I had specified for the cert name certificate that my certificate authority is the same machine pserver.example.com it might take certain time to restart it don't worry and then so this is done this is done just a moment let it come and then we'll move further it might take yeah it's there now what I need to tell the agent agent only need one thing where is my master so by default puppet agents are configured to go to a machine named puppet so if I show it to you puppet config print all is the command which will show you all the configurations but I'm not interested in all I just prefer the word server so see here server so by default agents are configured to look for a machine named puppet this machine is supposed to be acting as a your puppet server but in my case the puppet server name is different pserver.example.com and make sure you should have corresponding entries in the host file for the proper name resolution or your DNS should be there if I I just need to go in the same file at C puppet labs puppet and puppet.com here in this file I just need to tell in the main block as that where is your server so I just need to write p server.example.com that's it that means I had overridden the default settings so the client knows at C puppet labs puppet puppet.com the client knows or the agent knows where I should be going for the, the server or for manifest and for CAs and for certificates everything and the server knows the name of his CA that what by what name he will be signing the certificates okay so if I I just need to make sure that the firewall is on and your uh, ports are allowed so in case the firewall is on then only you need to 
take care of these things otherwise not so all the communication will be on uh, the CAs or the certificates so what I need to do now I just need to restart the puppet agent service so let's restart this so what will happen then the puppet agent will send the request to the master see here if I give the command here puppet cert list hyphen hyphen all which will show me all the certificates issued pending revoked by the puppet server so currently it has his own machine name because it's a CA <coughs> so his own name is appearing up no other machine request is there that's great so as soon as I restart the service my puppet agent will read this file and will send the certificate request to this machine so let's do this so I can start the like service here but before I jump on to restarting the service I need to make sure that in the firewall the puppet is allowed if the firewall is activated as it is rel 7 I'll show you a very interesting command I need to know which port I should be adding in puppet or oh, sorry in firewall just give the command puppet config print master port it will show you which port it is working on 8140 though you can also use the net stat I don't mind so, uh, do a 8140 or ruby it, it will show it to you right so I need to allow this port so if I give the command firewall cmd iPhone iPhone list sorry so I don't have this port allowed so what I do I give firewall CMD hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add port 8140 TCP and allow the UDP also though it is not required but no harm and reload it firewall cmd hyphen hyphen reload so if I sh view this this is allowed you can do it same here firewall and now if I try to start the service puppet sorry if I just give the command puppet agent hyphen tv so test and verbose see here It's generating the SSL keys and send the request to the machine let's check it out so if I go here and I repeat the same command oh sorry sorry you can see a request appears here earlier there was not so the request is being sent by the puppet agent now it is the discretion of the server whether he should allow it or not it solely depend on the server so I can sign it so if he is a trusted machine I just need to copy this and I give puppet cert sign and the name done so if I repeat the same command cert list hyphen hyphen all you will see a plus symbol appearing that means this certificate is trusted and this machine is trusted so now the this machine the agent has become a legitimate node for my puppet infrastructure and there is one more command puppet cert list which will only show you the pending certificates as I don't have any pending certificate so I'm getting nothing which is good you can also revoke the certificate in case you don't want that client to be your like in your infrastructure anymore you can revoke the certificate how can I revoke it <clears throat> it's very simple stuff I just need to first remove the certificate from uh, the let's suppose I don't want this machine to be my legitimate client anymore right I want to remove it so it's very simple puppet cert revoke and the name of the machine p agent sorry agent.example.com that's all so see here if I have done this in, and I give the cert list all command you will find a minus symbol appearing here that this is revoked and if I give the cert list command 
fine there is no pending request but it's still showing up because it's still in the database now i need to remove the certificates entirely so instead of after the revoke right clean clean it clean up my database so all the traces of this machine has gone see sorry it's gone so what will happen so that that client is removed from the server this is how you should be removing the any agent from the server next step how the agent will remove itself that i don't want to be an agent of that machine might be so all the certificates here if i give the you the command puppet config this is a very interesting command anytime you forget any anything just write ssl dir so by default your certificate goes here so if i go to etc puppet labs puppet ssl this is the folder this ssl is the folder and where the config file says and if i search for the word ssl not ssl dir wait see now you will find the config directory var lib so what i do if i show you this it must be showing up somewhere config this is the location ssl dir host certificates are going in this file ca certificates are going in this file so there is a location here i'll show you var lib pup and then puppet sorry uh it's sorry it's here it's the ssl folder here at c puppet labs if i move into this ssl folder you'll find the certificates from the my machine though you cannot read it as such but these are the certificates so i can remove this folder entirely i don't mind what i do from the client side it's much more easier but you have to be careful that you should be removing only this folder rm iphone rf ssl so the traces are gone now he has to send the request once again so he will give the command puppet agent iphone tv the request will be sent again reading the conf file right so i if i give the command list here list all will show me everything see the request comes up again and I, if i give want to see only the pending one it's there so again i need to certify it or approve it puppet cert sign p agent dot example dot you have again approved it so if i give the command cert list there is no pending certificates and list all will obviously show me all the certificates and the plus so this is how you set up your puppet agent and the puppet server you should be doing this before we jump on to writing the code on the puppet server and then applying the manifest on the puppet agent and before that in the next session i will show you how to do auto signing in case you want to have auto signing but that i'll be showing in a small session in the next part thank you very much